Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm sure at this point you guys are probably tired of seeing Rev on Tule Coast and all these videos, but I can't help it. I've really been enjoying this map recently. And not to mention, this map just happens to be perfect for today's video, which is testing out what I consider to be the worst ammo in the entire game. I would say gun, but it's not the only round that this gun can shoot. This is one of those combination guns that shoots 45 as well as 410 birdshot. And today we're going to be trying out the 410 birdshot. And because this is going to be a birdshot focused video, we had to go to Rev on Tule Coast because, I mean, let's just face it, there is so many birds on this map as well as rabbits, so it is the perfect opportunity to take this thing out and just get a good look at everything that it can do and everything that it can't, which is probably going to be a lot. There we go, we got one flying over. Of course, I just recently missed one, so I'm reloading. Let's just see what this does to them. And considering it's just now dying that kind of gives us our answer right there this is why i really don't use the 410 bird shot that took a really long time for it to die as you guys probably noticed and that is why I, i've always avoided it but i figured it would be good to take it out today and just kind of show once again uh, the reason that i don't recommend ever using it and we got ourselves a little rabbit right here. Let's go ahead and drop a shot into that. Now, it actually did kill the rabbit instantly, so maybe this is going to be one thing where you can actually get away with using this and not have too much of a problem. 506 is definitely not a bad rabbit either. That's a pretty good one. Well, it's not intended for it, but we might as well uh, go for a lynx since it is going to walk by and do our best to see if it even has an effect on it. I, I don't think it does. I don't think it does, but that doesn't surprise me. It's not really intended for something like a lynx, but I mean, with 12 gauge birdshot or 20 gauge, it probably would have already been losing HP. So it is, uh, I guess, somewhat of a test towards how good this can be. There's our little lynx. We hit it twice and it, uh, yeah, 0% quick kill. Kind of expected that. And I mean, we hit a lot of those pellets. So uh, that's a lot of birdshot going into this lynx right here, and it, it really died super, super slow. A lot slower than 12-gauge birdshot would have been doing. But again, obviously, it's not supposed to be as good as 12-gauge birdshot. It is a much smaller caliber, and it's being fired out of a handgun. Uh, but that really doesn't change just how useless it really is when you compare it to other options that you could be going for in this game. We have a lot of shotguns in Call of the Wild, and literally every single one of them is better than the 410 birdshot. There we go. Well, what do you know? It actually did pretty decent on that one right there. Not bad. Uh, we have another flying over us somewhere. There it is. And that is another one on the ground. You know, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe it's actually not too bad for the tarm again. Something I'm really curious about, though, is how will it do against the geese when we move up to something the size of them? How will it do on turkeys? I want to go for some of them towards the end of the video, but uh, for now, we're going to continue looking around for some of the smaller birds. Well, let's see how the 410 does on some of these uh, teal and widgeons. This one right here is a teal, and uh, seems like we got some rain coming in as well, but let's go ahead and get this little teal right here. And that is a dead teal, died right on the spot, and one more did not drop it, though. That's a bit of a problem. See, this is where the 410 does have a bit of an issue. Like, if you get a, cl a good close shot where you can get every pellet into them, then they usually die, but if you only get a couple of the pellets in there, good luck with taking that thing down quickly. In fact, I don't even know when that second one died. This was the first one. We hit a lot of the pellets on it, from what I can tell. It, it only shows one, but I doubt that's actually just one. I've noticed that sometimes on birds, it doesn't show you every pellet that uh, killed them. I guess maybe that's because it dies from the first pellet and then the following ones just don't register. It's it's really hard to say, but let's go ahead and see if we can get some more of these to get close. So that second duck that we shot went so far that I, I don't even see it. If it did die, it's definitely not close to where we shot it at because there's nothing inside over here. Let's go for another airborne shot and see if this one does any better. I mean, we kind of have to hit it in order to know, but looks like that is not happening this time around. Man, I'm wondering, do we need to lead more with this thing or lead less? 
it definitely doesn't perform the same that a uh, full-size shotgun would, which is pretty apparent at this point. A lot of these shots I feel should have been hitting, or at least getting close, and it seems like we were way off. All right, let's go for another shot on one that has landed relatively close and just see how it does and then try to get one as it's flying away. And that seemed pretty good there. And then we will go for another one. Not gonna lie, I'm not surprised we didn't hit those. That thing was going in circles everywhere. So yeah, it's unfortunate, but to be fair, I, I do think that any other shotgun in that situation, we probably would have got it. So that is a little bit unfortunate. But I mean, this one dropped on the spot. Again, it just shows one pellet. I'm convinced that that's not 100% accurate. I bet more than one pellet did hit it. It's just not showing them for some reason. So these uh, lower ducks right here are definitely within range where we would be able to hit them with any normal shotgun. Let's see if we can do so here. Uh, we want to get the best opportunity possible, so I think we're going to wait till they kind of cross in front of each other. I mean, it hit, but yeah, that's that's not really doing anything. Unfortunately, it just it doesn't have the range. It, it really seems like maybe I wasn't fully right about the 410. It's not that it's bad all the time it's that with any type of distance between you and the target it, it's terrible at close range it seems like it's okay but whenever you kind of reach further than 30 40 meters that's when you really start running into issues and we've seen that with these ducks especially the ones that are close they drop instantly but anything that's more than 20 or 30 meters just it, it takes forever to die and in some cases might not even die there we go, that's what I'm talking about. We got a lot of geese around us now. No way that we don't get at least one shot into a goose. And if we don't, well then, that's probably a me problem. I mean, we got some tufteds on the shore. Not exactly what I'm trying to test it on right now, but I mean, here's exactly what we needed. Let's go ahead and just pop that and then try to get another one. Yeah, again, the range is just, it's not good at all on this thing. Any type of substantial distance and there's nothing you can do about it, it's getting away. So I guess maybe that has been the problem with the 410 all along, is it just doesn't have the range of other guns. I've always thought that it was just naturally more weak, but it seems like at close range, it does still drop most birds. I mean, it dropped that goose, it's just, it doesn't have the range to... Do what normal shotguns can do. But let's go ahead and grab this thing anyway and see what the damage is like. So we hit three shots into the middle neck. You know what? I think I actually may have just discovered something. That is some pretty nasty spread at 29 meters. It's possible that maybe at any distance further than that, they just, it, it's just got such widespread that it can't connect with anything. Because even on the ducks, we saw it a little bit ago. We were hitting one pellet on the ducks, which is pretty insane for being, as, especially how close we were on some of them. So I wonder if it is that the spread is so bad. Either the spread is so bad or it just doesn't even have the distance to reach them. I'm starting to think, though, it might be because of the spread. You know, we're learning a lot of new things today. A lot of things that I never expected to be learning in this video. I thought it was just going to be a case of uh, 410 birdshot bad, this is why it's bad, but we've been seeing some things that I did not expect to see, which is definitely interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and just blast these right here. Yeah, we hit that one. We hit it twice. And it's still going. I, I think that might be the thing. Maybe there's just such a terrible spread at distance that it doesn't have enough pellets hitting it to really kill it. But I mean, at close range, we had one pellet hitting these ducks. And that killed them. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, because I'm kind of stumped. What is it that makes the 410 so bad? Is it the spread? Is it just the damage drop off at distance? Is it the, I guess, just drop of the 
pellets themselves? Does it maybe just not connect a lot of the times at further distances? Like, what is it that's making it so bad? Is it maybe a combination of all of them? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think because I'm kind of stumped, not gonna lie. Well, we got ourselves a turkey right in front of us. This is going to be probably the last type of animal that we go for with the 410 bird shot. Uh, we just gotta get close enough to even see this thing. And then we're gonna try and blast it with the 410. I want to get a couple of them. I want to see if we can get one that's close and another that's a little bit further away and just compare like how well it does and how big of a difference there is between close and far. There's the turkeys. I see them just over here. Well, we hit it on that second shot. First shot, I actually smacked the side of my, uh, my desk here and uh, could not continue tracking it, so that's a little bit unfortunate, but... Second shot got it, and I think it is dying. It may take it a little bit though, and there's another one right there. We can just try to get a shot into it. Yeah, it's probably not gonna work, but the first shot did hit this turkey, and sadly, it died somewhat slow, but not as slow as I was expecting. Man, this 410 bird shot is weird. I really just can't put my finger on it. It, it just feels so weird. I mean, that's 22 hits. When in many cases, we struggled to get more than two or three on something the size of a goose. So that's very interesting. I mean, it makes sense though. Wide wingspan, larger body, but still same distance that we were killing the uh, geese and ducks from. Turkey obviously is going to take longer to die because it's a little bit bigger, but I, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. What do you think? Is this performing okay or is it kind of bad compared to other stuff? I'm at this point, I'm just stumped. We actually did hit that other one as well. Here is the blood. Uh, it definitely flew a little bit farther, but still not terrible, I don't think. I mean, it's already down to 25 to 50. Well, there it is. Let's go ahead and check. We have one pellet, but it hit a lung. Interesting. And that was at 35 meters, so I really don't know what to say. You know, I think the best way I can describe the 410 is inconsistent because we've had some situations where it did quite well and uh, others where it did really bad or didn't even manage to hit the animal in a situation where I thought we should have been able to uh, inconsistent is the best way that I can describe this but again let me know what you guys would describe it as and what you think might be the issue here because I really don't know but I appreciate all of you watching this is going to be the end if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and uh, ring the bell as well so you never miss an upload turning on notifications is really the only way that you can guarantee that you will see my videos daily so be sure to do that and I will see you all in the next one peace